So today I wanted to do a deep dive on the Boolean system in plasticity. Um, there's been some cool new features and this will serve as a sort of demo and tutorial of how to do Booleans in version 0.3. So with this simple scene created, the normal way to do a Boolean in plasticity is to select multiple objects and then hit Q, which will by default start the Boolean difference command. But with Q, W, and E, you can toggle between union difference and intersection. You can also move the tool using the gizmo or key bindings as you like. Alternatively, if you have nothing selected, you can just hit Q, and then the dialog will actually prompt you to select target and tool bodies. Holding down Shift, we can actually select multiple tool cutters and move them around and switch between union difference and intersection as well. Now, let's say we wanted to do the opposite of what we're doing right now. We want to subtract the cylinder from the spheres. You can clear the target and tool bodies in the dialog, and then go through and select the tar multiple targets, and then select the cylinder as the tool, and we uh, can do the opposite of the, of the last operation. And again, moving, and moving the tools and stuff works just as before. All right, let me clean some of this up, but uh, now I wanna show how creating new objects works in plasticity and how Booleans interact with it. Normally, if you create an object and nothing is selected, even if it overlaps with other bodies, it's not a Boolean, okay? Here, I'm gonna escape out of this and start again. With objects selected, on the other hand, if I create a cylinder, for example, as soon as it starts to overlap with those bodies, it becomes a Boolean. Just like before, you can interact with the dialog to change the target bodies. Um, you can have multiple targets, and you can change union difference, intersection, and so forth. Unlike with Boolean objects though, this is a live cylinder and you can use the gizmo to tweak the radius and the height as well as use key bindings like F and D for radius and height if you, if you like. Finally, uh, I wanna talk about extrusion. So in this case, let's create a planar region that we can extrude. And with nothing selected, it will not do any Booleans, but just like before, we can interact with the dialog to select target bodies change the Boolean operation, and so forth. So that serves as a quick little tutorial for doing Booleans in plasticity, and I think uh, that should be enough to get started. Thanks for your time.